So the brand new weapons within Black Ops 3, you can definitely tell that Treyarch was trying to go for something a little bit different. Now, before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Daz. I'll link him down in the description for hooking me up with his account so I can bring you guys his gameplay because I was only able to get the melee weapon and also got some uh, SMG gameplay for you guys, which is in the previous video. But shout out to Daz. I'll link him in the description, guys. Check him out if you guys want to. Another thing. If you want to win a free PC, guys, okay, Ironside, my friends at Ironside, they are my sponsor. They hooked it up with my PC, and it is an absolute freaking monster. Check out their video after you finish watching this one. I'll link it down in the description. You guys can learn how you can possibly enter and earn a free PC if you win. Now, this brand new assault rifle within Black Ops 3. It is literally almost the same thing as the SMG, but backwards. What do I mean about that? The SMG, we talked about how it rechambers itself after you shoot this one is the opposite you actually have to wait for it to charge up which takes maybe about a half a second before you can shoot it so essentially it leads you to having to pre-fire every time you try and shoot this weapon which is it's a little fucking annoying all right but but i understand the fact i understand that treyarch wanted to bring not just new weapons but they also wanted to just bring something different so it's not just hey look we got new weapons i understand that completely although it could still be a little bit irritating all right this is the brand new lv8 basilisk i believe that's how you say it i'm not sure if it is but if it's not i apologize it's a good gun i like it it's fun to use it's not a gun that it's gonna outgun every single gun in the game actually i think this gun could get its ass whooped by the majority of the guns in this game simply because of the the actual freaking charge that it has to do before shooting which is not a big deal but it is not a weapon that you can just go balls out and rush or anything like that you definitely need to actually plan your setup you have to run extended mags the uh, the reason why i say that is because the fire rate in this weapon is really fast which is actually a positive thing in this weapon though the, the good things about this weapon is it has a really fast fire rate and it has insane accuracy once you start getting a little bit used to the weapon once you know when you have to time your shot and all that good stuff the accuracy on this weapon is almost perfect it's actually really really good for the uh, insane fire rate that it has so that's a really good thing now the bad thing obviously runs out of bullet really quickly so you will need to run extended mags and of course on top of that you know also you have to pre-charge you know before shooting so it's kind of got it's good and it's bad obviously and not every weapon is going to be perfect but overall again i'm really really pleased with the designs on these weapons not the weapon that you would see in your modern day war so now really quickly if you guys happen to get your hands on this weapon i honestly suggest for you guys to run quick draw grip extended mags that would be great and even long barrel if you can throw it in there i really think long barrel is 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 probably going to help you out a lot in this weapon those are some of the attachments i would definitely recommend just by playing with the weapon for a few games i think uh this weapon definitely needs uh, uh extended mags because you will find yourself dying when reloading because if you guys pay attention to this gameplay there was moments in this gameplay where i actually found myself getting killed because i was reloading because my weapon was running out of bullets because of how fast it shoots but i didn't have on extended mags because the weapon was not a high level enough yet to unlock the extended mags or simply just because i was an idiot and i forgot to equip it but you learn from your mistakes the brand new lv8 basilisk guys it's a pretty dope gun it's literally the brother, the older brother of the brand new SMG. The whole mechanism of the weapon is backwards. Overall, pretty cool design. Everything is very, very detailed. Again, Treyarch always does a fascinating job at paying attention to detail. Um, if you guys get this weapon, let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys have any suggestions for a class setup, let them know. You know, let them be known in the comments below so we can all just share thoughts and opinions. Some Maybe some of my viewers can learn from your class setups. Feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. This is the brand new LV-8 Basilisk in Black Ops 3. It's overall an enjoyable gun, but not a gun I would run the entire day with just because of its preload type of stuff that it's got going on, which kind of fucking pisses me off. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Tag on, Barthes over, need the assignment.